Hello children and welcome again to Marvelous Maths. I am Sunil. In this lesson, we will learn more about numbers up to 100 and how to count on and count back. We will start with count on. To count on means we start with the smallest number and count on to the biggest number. Let's count on from 50 to 60 in ones. To count on in ones means that if we start with 50, then to get the next number, we must add 1 to 50. So, the next number will be 51. After 51 comes 52. Then, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. Now, let's count back in ones. To count back means to count from the biggest number down to the smallest number. Let's count back in ones from 75 to 65. If we start with 75, the next number would be... Remember, we are counting back, so the number after 75 should be smaller. 75 minus 1 is 74. After 74 will be... 73. Then... 72. 71. 70, 69, 68, 67, 66, and finally, 65. Very good. Just now, we counted on and counted back in ones. Now, we are going to do the same, but this time, we will count in tens. Let's count on in tens from 0 to 100. Counting on in tens means we must add 10 to each number. So if we start with 0, the next number will be 0 plus 10, which is 10. Good. Then 10 plus 10 equals 20. Next will be 30, then 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Now, let's try another example. We will count on in tens from 22 to 62. If we start with 22, the next number will be 22 plus 10 which is 32. Now, what comes after 32? 32 plus 10 is 42. Forty-two plus 10 is 52. And 52 plus 10 will be 62. So the numbers we counted on from 22 to 62 in tens are 22, 32, 42, 52, 62. We have counted on in tens. Now we are going to count back in tens. Let's Count back in tens from 100 to 0. Counting back in tens means we must minus 10 from each number. So, if we start with 100, the next number will be 100 minus 10, which is 90. After 90 comes 90 minus 10 which is 
80. Next will be 80 minus 10. That is 70. After 70 will be 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 and 0. Let's try another example. Let's count back in tens from 57 to 27. So, if we start with 57, the next number will be 57 minus 10, which is 47. After 47 comes 47 minus 10. 37. Next will be 37 minus 10. That is 27. So, the numbers we counted back from 57 to 27 in tens are 57, 47, 37 and 27. Now, Let's count and fill in some missing numbers. We'll start by counting on in ones to fill in the missing numbers in this example. 63. What number? What number? 66. What number? The first number is 63. If we count on in ones, the next number should be, yes, 64. And after 64 comes, 65. Very good. And after 65 is 66, which is already there. So, what comes after 66? Yes, 67. The missing numbers are 64, 65 and 67. Now we are going to count back in tens and fill in the missing numbers. Let's try this example. What number? 55, 45. What number? What number? The two numbers we know are 55 and 45. Since we are counting back in tens, the first number must be the biggest and it must be bigger than 55 by 10. To find this number, we add 10 to 55. And the answer is 65. So, we have 65, 55, 45. What do you think the next number would be? 45 minus 10 is 35. The number is 35. And the last number will be 35 minus 10, 25. The missing numbers are 65, 35 and 25. Let's revise what we learned earlier. We learned about count on and count back. Count on means counting from the smallest number up to the biggest number. Count back means counting from the biggest number down to the smallest number. We also learnt about counting in ones and tens. Now, let's look at some examples. We'll start by counting on in ones. Let's count from 26 to 36. The numbers will be 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. Now, let's count back in ones. Let's count from 93 to 83. The numbers will be 93, 92, 91, 90, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, and 83. Now, let's count on in tens. We'll count from 16 to 66. That will be 16, 26, 36, 46, 56, and 66. Now, let's count back in tens from 84 to 34. The numbers will be 84, 74, 64, 54, 44, and 34. Fill in the missing numbers. 56. What number? 36. What number? What number? 6. The first number is 56. The next number we see is 36, which is smaller than 56. This shows that this is a counting back sequence. It is also in tens. If the first number is 56, then the next number should be 10 less than 56, which is 46. After that is 36. The number after 36 should also be 10 less. So it will be 26. After 26 will be 16. And finally, 6. So, the missing numbers are 46, 26, and 16. Complete the number sequence. What number? 72. 73. What number? 75. What number? When we look at the numbers, we see that after 72 is 73. This means that the sequence is a count on in ones. So, the first number should be one smaller than 72, which is 71. And after 73 will be 74. And after 75 will be 76. So, the missing numbers are 71, 74, and 76. Fill in the missing numbers. 0, 10. What number? What number? 40. What number? The first number is 0. And the next is 10. This shows that it's a count on sequence. It is also a sequence in tens. So, after 10 would be 20. And after 20 will be 30. After 30 is 40. And after 40 will be 50. The missing numbers are 20, 30, and 50. Tick right or wrong in the boxes for the following. 
A, 87 is less than 34. B, 23 is more than 33. C, 76 is more than 62. In A, is 87 bigger or smaller than 34? Yes, 87 is bigger than 34. So, it cannot be less than 34. So, the sentence is wrong. In B, is 23 bigger than 33? No, it's not. 23 is not more than 33. Here, again, the sentence is wrong. In C, 76 is bigger than 62. That means 76 is more than 62. So, the sentence is right. Count back in ones and write all the numbers from 98 to 89. Counting back in ones will mean that the number after 98 will be one smaller. That will be 98 minus 1, which is 97. The next number will be one smaller than 97, which is 96. And after 96 comes 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, and finally 89. Count on in tens and write all the numbers from 11 to 91. Counting on in tens will mean that the number after 11 will be bigger by 10. That will be 11 plus 10, which is 21. The next number will be 10 more than 21, which is 31. And after 31 will be 41, 51, 61, 71, 81, and finally, 91. That brings us to the end of this lesson. Bye!